Rec Room has partnered with Destiny 2. No, that's right, I did not stutter. Rec Room has a new collab with Destiny 2. I am, of course, here to explain to you guys what exactly this new collab is. And it may not be what you think. Coming into this collab, I thought it was going to be like TMNT, where you get to fight AI and stuff like that, but no. This actual collab is a target shooter, just like the AGA concert event that Rec Room had quite a while ago. Now, that's obviously not all inside this map, and of course, let me show you guys what's around. Now, excluding the giant hangout area that we have that is Destiny 2 themed here inside the lobby and stuff like that, we have a few key things. As you guys can see right behind me, we have this red box, and this red box basically has the floor as lava game mode inside the lobby. Basically, it just turns the whole floor into lava, it hurts you if you touch it and stuff like that, and you have to try and get somewhere inside this actual lobby. Once you guys do, it'll give you a speed boost and stuff like that, and it's pretty cool. Now, don't mind this, inside the actual you know, game that you guys play and stuff like that, there's actually a shop here, but it's not in this build. From what you guys can basically see, we'll probably have hunter sets being sold here, warlock sets being sold here, and titan sets being sold here, of course. With other items too. Woo! So spooky! You guys will also find Rec Room sized versions of the new skins that they have for the weapons. Like this purple golden sniper and these zebra color laser tag pistols. And we got this guy too, who kind of just sweeps the same spot in the ground. I, I think he missed a spot. I think you got it. Cool, cool. Now let's talk about the elephant inside the room. The set price for this actual hunter set. If you guys want, you guys plan on getting the hunter set, it's like over 60k tokens, or I'll put the, you know, value on the screen and stuff like that. So of course, be prepared to spend that much tokens if you do want the full set. Hopefully the Warlock and Titan are at least a little bit cheaper, or at least the same, and of course we will just have to see. Now let's talk about the real elephant inside the room. This giant portal. Now this giant portal will take you to the Gauntlet, aka the actual target shooting room. Basically, you'll be inside this pre-game lobby where you guys actually get to choose your class and a weapon and a power. Then you get to go into a randomized map where it's just a bunch of targets and stuff like that that have the Destiny 2 enemies on them, and you can shoot them with friends. This game takes takes one to three players and of course have fun with your friends when shooting these targets and stuff but it really is just a target shooter so there's like no pvp or anything too crazy if you're into casual games and want to check out something fun of course feel free to check out this destiny 2 collab one of the cooler things too is that each class has its own you know type of description same with its weapon and stuff like that and it's pretty cool it goes into detail a lot one of my favorite things about this new collab are the weapons and reckon kind of cooked on these custom weapons for real they really did a great job showing them off and they all shoot differently, are a different weapon, reload differently, do their own thing basically. Now of course, I've basically explained everything inside this new Destiny 2 collab and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and etc. But I do want to let you guys know my thoughts. Now after playing a few times and giving the map one big giant look over of course, I've got to say I was not initially expecting this collab to be, you know, a target shooter. Personally, or at least in my opinion, I think this Destiny 2 collab should have been like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtles collab where you fought npcs and you fought the big boss shredder and stuff like that i think if they had that but with destiny 2 villains and stuff like that that would be super fi this is still a cool event nonetheless but it really is more of a casual event than a pvp event so it's not like tmnt at all it's more like the ajr concert event and one last note this map is big no obviously i'm not playing the final version of this map but i do want to mention that this map is huge and I really hope they do more with it. Like, there's this area over here. What do we put over here? Is there gonna be anything over here? It seems like there would, obviously. Big fan of the map design, and I think if you like Destiny 2 or any of the Destiny games, you'll probably like the design of the map more, too. And they even got a little guy broom in here. I mean, how, how bad can it be here, possibly? Now, when we actually fight and stuff like that, and we're choosing our class, we get the option between a Hunter, Warlock, and Titan, of course. We've talked about their class, we've talked about the weapons but we haven't talked about the powers yet basically each class can do their own special ability basically if you choose hunter you'll basically decide to double jump if you choose warlock you'll have one big jump and if you choose titan you have one big jump but it'll glide a lot more it's kind of weird now if i had to rate this new collab inside of rec room i would definitely give it like a 7 out of 10 max i am not a fan of target shooters i'm so sorry but i really like the cosmetics I like the map design, I like how they did everything, and it's not a bad event to check out with friends and stuff like that if you guys are bored inside of Rec Room. 
Hey, do you think that just because this is a new collab inside of Rec Room, I'm not gonna promote my channel memberships? Of course I'm gonna promote my channel memberships! Now what are these so-called channel memberships? They're basically like a Patreon, you pay me for some perks and stuff like that, and some of those perks are being shouted out inside of all of my videos. That includes these two. I post a lot of god dang videos by the way. Anyways, massive shout out to Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Red, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade, Cap, BB Burning, Owl Bucket Guy, Yo Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 9, and Box David. Of course, if you're a Squidling, I appreciate your support as well, and let's get back to the video. I think it was super fun, and of course, just to put the cherry on top of this video, here is me stalking Werewolf without him knowing. And the Ace of Spades. Uh, uh, <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> What's up, werewolf? Also, uh, here's my initial thoughts on the game. My initial thoughts for this actual collab, 6 out of 10. It's cool, I won't lie, the map design is awesome and stuff like that, and they have super cool cosmetics that are, you know, designed for full body avatars and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything good I have to say about it. Gameplay-wise, it's cool and stuff, but I'm just, me personally, not a big fan of target shooters, so, you know, that's just me. Would have been cooler if it was kind of like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab and stuff like that, where you actually fought an, uh, AI and stuff like that. That would have been really cool. Oh, unfortunately, it was wasn't and of course that that's been my review and welcome back to another part on this video um this video isn't exactly eight minutes and i like my monetization so i'm just gonna you know put some news in here to get into that eight minute mark due to this recent update reckon players are noticing that a few items are bugged one of these items are the floral headphones and they turned either silver or black and another item that was bugged was the 3d glasses which appear black instead of white and look weird on the quest Players are also noting how they're getting the Monster Munchies food item inside their activity boxes now, so you guys can now earn that item, which is really cool. And anyways, that's pretty much our entire Destiny 2 collab. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the video and like the channel. I really do appreciate it a lot. And of course, you guys should totally check out my other Reckham content if you guys want to see more Reckham news. That's basically been it. I'll catch you guys inside the next one. And without any further ado... Urgh!